Hey everybody, once again, your boy Tony from Cali. This is a huge, huge day today. I am very, very excited. Uh, only drawback today, today is that I just found out that this, only, this is the only building open up today. And this whole um, show is, is sponsored by Happy Days RV, which is a great show. I used to work for Happy Days RV back in the day. I actually worked security uh, for Happy Days RV, I believe it's been the 90s, um, uh, around 88-ish to uh, 90, 91, somewhere around there. I remember working for Happy Days RV, and uh, they are sponsoring this show. So these are one of the, some of the big babies right here that we're going to be looking at. Um, this particular one right here, I believe, is a, let's see what it is. This is made by Allegra. Yeah, this is made by Allegra. Tiffin, Allegra. These are some of their huge units that we want to look at. Um, a lot of people are looking at a lot of fifth wheels. And if I swing back around over in this area right here, you see that there's a lot of fifth wheels behind me. So whatever your desire is, whatever you're actually looking at getting into, you can actually get into it here with the Happy Days RV show here at Cal Expo. So in the background here, I'm looking at something like that. I'm looking at, um, I would like to get a 45 foot, uh, something with possibly a toy hauler or maybe even a a portable toy hauler that I could actually add on the back or something where I could have like a garage area where I could actually work on uh, my projects and scooters, that type of thing. So I'm looking for something where I can carry um, a motorcycle or be able to carry an ATV because I definitely want to carry my, my scooters, right? So I'm looking for something of that nature. I don't really want a fifth wheel. I don't want a truck to where I got to connect and, and, and pick up. But a lot, of, a lot of these fifth wheels are really nice and they, they're, they're basically set up with everything you can think of. I'm looking for more of the bus uh, system. Um, what is this right here? Uh, uh, Phantom. This is a Tiffin. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It says Phantom. Phantom or Phantom. Tiffin. This is one of the nice, nicer units. So I'm looking at actually one of these units right here. And let me try to get the full view here of what it looks like. So you just bear with me with my uh, cinematography. I'm standing right here, down here in the lower area where the engine is located. And you can definitely see the height okay so this is what i'm actually looking at getting into now let's come over here this is probably one of the luxury units we're talking about a unit with like four slides and when i say four slides there's like four slide outs where you can actually uh you know for your living room your bedroom your entertainment and the whole nine yards and we're going to probably give you a good view of that in a little bit and once again i'm just excited excited to be here in sacramento looking at these buses these are Seriously, luxury buses. I think we're actually going to take a tour. I think we're going to go inside this one right here. So if you guys can just bear with me. I got my backpack on right now, which is a little heavier, which is pretty heavy. But I think we're going to, we're going to take a tour. And I don't know if I want to back in. I don't think I want to back in. I think we'll just flip my camera around here. So you guys just bear with that for a second. Let's see how I would do that. So, okay, you guys, sorry about that. So looking at this particular bus right here, this is a beautiful bus here, a beautiful, we call them coaches actually. This is a beautiful coach right now. And uh, we'll look at it from the front and we're gonna go ahead and take a, a walk through of what this baby looks like. This is a Tiffin and you can tell it is a beautiful, beautiful unit. It's got the uh, underglow here, as you can see the blue lights underneath. It's really, really nice. Um, and if I put the camera right up here, you can see inside the galley and all the amenities that's inside that baby right there. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna walk in here. Hang this thing is really nice. I think we're, we're gonna walk around it first. We'll do a complete walk around. You can see the underglow right here, the lighting on the bottom. You can see the space, um, the storage compartments, I should say, storage compartments. And if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, which I have watched, these are Allegra. This is the Allegra. The Allegra bus, they call it the uh, XSP, okay? And like I said, I'm not gonna give you guys a full tour. I don't know all the information on this particular bus or this particular coach, but it is a beauty. I am just in love with these, uh, these coaches. Now, some of these coaches can run you almost a half a million dollars. Some of them can go even higher. I think their highest one is probably close to a half a million dollars. And they've got, as you can see, the backup cameras. That one actually has like an extra wing on top. It looks like you can go up there and uh, hang out for a little bit. Now, I'm not sure about the engine size. Most of them are probably coming with a uh, diesel engine. You know, most of these are all diesel, I'm pretty sure. 
and uh i am just so excited to be here we're gonna be here for a while we're gonna definitely look at a lot of these uh, before we enter one and as you can see looking at it from the outside you got your outside entertainment center where you might have a uh, a 40 inch tv a 50 inch tv you know your undercarriage your spate your um i forgot what they call this your storage compartments they got automatic slides on some of these where they slide out um the coating for going inside you put your code in you got a lit up uh handle to grab onto you got backup cameras they got cameras also on the mirrors there's a lot of things that i've learned a lot about these um, I've been studying them for the last couple years to be honest with you. So a lot of people saying Tony why you want an RV? Well, I love being mobile and I love doing what I'm doing right now. I love being a broadcaster and um, This is something that I've been Wanting for some time now. So we're gonna look at Whatever we can look at. I kind of want to walk in this one right now. It looks pretty nice I think we're gonna walk in this one. We're gonna take a take a quick look and I'm not sure the size of this one or Anything like that Wow, you guys bear with my cinematography here because I got my backpack on. I think I'm gonna take this backpack off. Look at this, this one has a fireplace. Look at the floor. The floor is exquisite. Look at that. And you've got your uh, dining room area over here. You've got your countertop, probably Corian countertop. I learned a lot about these. Like I said, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you learn, you watch the guys and they'll tell you a lot about a lot of things that that's in here. I'm gonna take my backpack off. I think I'm gonna kick back for a minute because, uh, wow, this could be my home. See, a lot of us are are looking at, you know, why would you? Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, why? Yeah, I'm out of breath. I don't care. My backpack. My backpack weighs about 50 pounds. I got a bunch of cameras in there, and you na you name it. I'm actually gonna sit over here, and I'm gonna move this. Uh, this is one of the removable uh, Corian countertops. We're gonna put it right back over here. It's actually uh, it covers the sink area. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But I'm gonna sit right here in this chair. Ooh, this is nice. Sit right here in this chair and just relax. Okay. So where am I sitting? If you notice where I'm sitting, it's a fireplace right here. We got a fireplace here. Okay. We got a TV right here. Looks like an LG. Probably looks like about a 40-inch TV. Um, I have no idea. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Just taking a break. <laughs> but it looks like a, like a 40 inch TV here. You got a fireplace here. You got your countertop with your nice Corian, um, Corian countertop. Um, this chair is extremely comfortable. Let's see what else it has over here. Does it have a recliner? Well, it does recline out. So you have a recliner chair here, which is really nice. And uh, just come. You get to sit here and just take a nap, basically. We may end up doing it today. We may end up taking a nap. I was actually going, I wanted to do my whole broadcast from here. I actually wanted to do a full broadcast inside at one of these RVs. And um, we may get the chance to do that today because we're going to be out here for a little bit today. I don't know how long we're going to be out here, but we're going to definitely be out here. And um, I just wanted to say, I am just so happy. Now, if you look up front here, and I'm not giving you guys a, 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 the best view, but you guys need to get on YouTube and, you know, they'll give you better. Uh, we got a TV right up front too. That looks like a about another 40 inch 50 inch TV up front and then sometimes they have the, what they call a uh, uh, TV aiders I think they call TV aiders like like elevators and the TVs will come up out of the uh, they'll come up out of the Corian countertops like in the dining room area they'll come you know you push a button and they'll come up out of those uh, areas there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of RVs with a lot of uh, a lot of features so if you're interested in an RV or a bus or a coach or a, uh, you know, a fifth wheel or something of that nature, you know, my, 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 my thing is to tell you, is to let you know, go to YouTube and check out what's available. I do that all the time. I'm on YouTube all the time. And, um, I usually download a lot of the videos. It's a program called clip grab and it'll allow you to download, uh, your YouTube video. So I save a lot of them and archive them. And I use them a lot of times for my news stories and things like that. When I start the world broadcast news. Telling you guys all the secrets, huh? So we're gonna get up. I don't wanna get too lazy here. We're gonna get up and we're gonna walk through this coach. I'm get up now. I'm gonna try to show you guys a couple other things here. Can't pop that chair back in. We're not gonna worry about that. So we walk back here to the back to the bedroom area. Oops. Framing has changed here. You guys just bear with my framing here for a minute. 
might have to do some editing on this. So we walk back here to the bathroom area. Lots of storage back here. You watch a lot of the videos and I'm not gonna go through all the storage compartments and stuff, but they'll tell you about all the different storage compartments that's available. You got storage here. You got your convection microwave oven right here. Um, right here is probably, oh nice. This is nice. It's kind of a, it's a dishwasher, but it doesn't even look like a dishwasher because it's kind of built into the cabinetry. You can't even tell that it's a dishwasher. It's really nice. It makes a little noise when you open it up, then you know that it's open. And it also has a, like a magnetic lock. So it locks. So it's, if you're driving down the road, it's not going to just open up. And a lot of people they ask about that. They want to know, like, all these, all these drawers are like that. They kind of lock, like a magnetic lock. So they're not going to be falling out as you're driving down the road. Um, if you walk over here, this is what they call the cockpit. Okay, this is the cockpit. Oh, you know what? Let me grab my phone. Sorry about that. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I talk pretty loud. Okay, so that is actually, like I said, that's a pretty, pretty nice dishwashing area. Um, but if we walk over here, this is the cockpit area, and we're gonna look at that real quick, real quick. Okay, you guys bear with my camera angles here. I may do some editing, or I might just uh, post it the way it is. Sometimes I don't care. Sometimes it's just about just getting it done. So I'm in the cockpit area. This is nice. So, looking at the screen and not knowing everything about it, but just from watching some of the YouTube videos that I've watched before, um, this thing has uh, multiple digital screens. It looks like a 10 inch screen here. You got about a 7 inch screen here. That's your, stere uh, uh, your stereo right here. And it probably uh, doubles as a backup camera as well. Then you have a 10 inch monitor here, which says made by Triple Vision. And it probably uh, acts as a monitor camera, security camera, and maybe also navigation. And then also this looks like a digital screen too. And like I said, I don't have the keys to turn this on, so I can't tell you every feature that this thing has, but it is, looks really, really nice, okay? This is what they call the cockpit. Got these nice captain chairs, and um, pretty comfortable. Let's see how this feels. I'm gonna go back, can I go back? Oh, I don't know. So anyway, it's pretty nice. And then up here, you got another LG TV. This looks like another, maybe about a 40 inch TV that's up front and uh, very nice, lots of storage compartments and things like that. And like I said, if you want, if you want more details about uh, this particular RV or this particular coach, um, I say go to YouTube and, and check it out. This is, um, I think this was a Tiffin also made by Allegra. We're going to give you guys probably a model number on this coach as well. And we're going to get on up right now. This is very, very comfortable. I could actually do my full show from right here. I could sit here and do my full show. Um, of course, I would need some more lighting. And um, I could actually add some more lighting in here if I want to add more lighting. But we're not going to go all into that. Sorry about that. We're not going to go all into the lighting aspect of it. But this is the. This is pretty nice. This is really, really, really nice. Okay. So we're going to get up. I don't even want to get up once I sit in these chairs. I'm telling you. So comfortable. <coughs> and... Uh, it's hard for me to get up sometimes. All right. So as we walk through the coach, okay, as we walk through the coach, what do we see? We're going to show you. We're walking all through. I should be showing, going the other opposite way. We're walking into the bedroom area right now, okay? And this bedroom area is nice. Very, very nice, especially if you haven't had a bedroom in a long time. If you haven't lived in a bedroom, which I haven't lived in a bedroom in a long time, this is a dream. Okay, and I'm going to sit back, lay back here. Look at this. Ah, this is so nice. Okay, this bed is comfortable. I don't want to get too comfortable. This bed is so comfortable back here. And they got you got a walk in uh, closet that's right over here. Uh, you actually have a safe. There's actually a safe in there. Okay, there's a safe that they have in there where you can put your belongings and things like that. You got some jewelry, some valuables, money, whatever. There's a safe. Um, if I swing around this area right here, plenty of storage. Plenty of storage to put your uh, your clothing and things like that, and of course another television set. Looking at another LG TV. LG TVs are pretty popular for a lot of these RVs and buses and coaches and so far. Um, also, when I swing all the way around, I'm in the bedroom here. You'll see there's your restroom. So you got your own master bath, bedroom. Um, let me uh, reposition this a little bit. Okay. As we walk into the bathroom, you got your own shower. Dang, this is really nice. Really nice shower. Okay, you got a control panel over here. It says bathroom fan light, vanity light, panel lights, water pump. And this looks like an adjacent door that probably goes 
back to the uh, the main uh, hallway, I believe. Or it could be a store. Nope, it goes right back to the main hallway. That's what I thought. So your your passengers can actually use the same restroom as well. Okay? Very nice. I'm just walking back out here because I got my backpack. I don't want nobody to jack my backpack. My backpack's right there. We're going to put the backpack back on. And then we're going to head out of this coach and probably tour some other coaches. Before we do, I just want to show you there. you got a, multiple outlets over here. So you got outlets over here where you can plug in your USB device, cell, cell phones. You want to charge your cell phones and so forth. Like I said, plenty of storage. We're not going to go through all the storage compartments. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you'll see that a lot of you guys are, they actually uh, show a lot of that. And uh, let me just reposition my camera here for a minute. Just bear with me. Just tighten it up here on my uh, tripod here. All right. That's a little bit better. And um, once again, you got, uh, if you look over here, you can see that there's uh, multiple outlets. You got USB. This looks like it slides, it pops down. That's pretty nice. So sort of hidden, which is really nice. Pop it up, pop it down. You got two USB ports, probably 2.0, hopefully. 2.0, 3.0, and you got your AC uh, power as well. Once again, this is a Corian countertop, I believe. I don't know very much about it. I could read the specs here. This is the specs of this actual unit. This is actual unit. Oh, all right. Suggested retail price is three uh, three hundred fifty nine thousand dollars. Okay, we'll show that for the record as well. Three hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars. Wow. And there's your serial numbers. You got all your information here. So when people come in here, they can actually uh, instead of guessing like I've been doing for the last couple hours, you can get all your your information right here on whatever you need and um, these guys are located okay that's a different location but anyway this is happy days rv so if you like i said happy days rv is sponsoring the show i believe uh, they're not sponsoring me but they are sponsoring the show i don't get anything any money for being here or anything like that i'm just doing this purely because i enjoy doing it still adjusting my camera here you guys just bear with me okay so once again you got the fireplace you got a lot of amenities here. You got a full uh, fridge here. Okay. I'm not even looking at the fridge. You got a full fridge here. Okay. Full size refrigerator. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. This is nice. I haven't seen a refrigerator like this in a long time. Wow. This is nice. This is nicer than a lot of people's homes. You know, you got your freezer down here. Pull out freezer. And like I said, this unit is about $357,000. There's units that are more than this, and there's units that are less. Um, I was also looking at the uh, Cornerstone. Those one of the one of the luxury units, the Cornerstone and the Priest, the Prevost. I was hoping of seeing those units. This is your pantry area where you put all your spices and things like that. And like I said, if you watch a lot of these videos, as many as I've watched, you learn about this. This is your control panel right here. This is a touch screen. Oh, turn it came on. Where you can control all your lighting and everything, which is pretty awesome. You can change, you can control your lighting, you can control, control the awning. You usually can control pretty much everything from this control panel, if I'm not mistaken. And then usually there's one in the bedroom as well, I believe. I'm gonna double check, I think there's one right there. And, uh, or there's one right here. Oh, there's one right there, it's pretty nice. I just touched it, it just came on. So you got control panels in here where you can uh, control your security cameras. This screen right here doubles as a security uh, camera. You can look at all the different angles a lot of time. Um, I'm not sure, sure. I'm not sure in this particular model, but a lot of times you can look at your who's at the back of the coach, who's in the side of the coach, uh, who's at the front door. And you can look at all those things. Yeah. Just by touching your panel and navigating around. Oh man, I wouldn't. I have my uh, audio there. So we're gonna walk out of this one. We got some folks walking in. How you guys doing? Hi. Come on in. Enjoy. <laughs> we're gonna walk on out. We're gonna go check out another coach. How you doing, buddy? Hey, pretty good, man. All right. Did you make it up all these steps? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I know. I'm I don't want to go back. Yet. I don't want to go back down now. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're gonna walk out of the coach. Steps are, are illuminated steps, and then they also have a touch panel here. Yeah. Also, as you're walking in, let's show this real quick. There's a touch panel right here as you're walking in, so you can actually access everything. Um, you're lighting as you're walking in the coach and then there's one looks like right here as well Wow, so there's touch panels everywhere. If you look there's actually two touch panels one here and one here Okay, so this is as you're entering your coach and you decide you uh, want to uh, change your lighting to your desired um, 
make it desirable for you. Pretty nice. All right, we're gonna walk out. Walking out of these steps really slow here. A lot of weight. I'm overweight right now, so yeah, I'm surprised I'm able to do that. That was the, let's look at the model number on that one. Uh, where, where was that one? The model number on this, it's a Tiffin Coach. Um, I'm not sure of the model number of this particular coach, but like I said, if you guys are interested, check with Happy Days RV, and they can definitely give you guys more information. There's a number right here, and uh, who knows what that number is all about. This is really nice. It's probably one of their 2020 models. You've got some lighting right there. There's an awning. That awning actually comes out. There's an awning right there, and then this is an awning right here. That awning comes out and give you shade over your coach. And once again, there's a couple storage compartments. We're gonna look at this one right here. I think we're gonna go in this one next. And a lot of these coaches are probably very similar in design. Some will have more, some of them are more uh, custom. So it just depends on what you're looking for. It depends on what you want in a coach, okay? So we're gonna take a look at this one real quick. We're gonna walk in. And I'm not gonna give you all the different models, I don't think, because it's just too much, too much information. And uh, really nice. Look at the floor here. The floor is pretty awesome. Fix this rug here. Somebody moved the uh, carpet. But that is, this floor is pretty awesome. And also you got stairs that actually come out. Oh, I forgot to show this right here. This actually comes out too. There's probably a button here. This thing shuts when you, uh, you know, for your passenger. This part comes out. So your uh, passenger has somewhere to put their feet okay so we're walking in wow now this one is a lot it looks bigger and it could be bigger like i said we don't know the size that's that uh tell uh televator as i was saying before that's the televator so the television actually comes up out of the korean countertop and these are probably your controls to bring it up and so forth and then you got controls throughout this whole coach this thing is pretty awesome i like this one a lot better the design in a, in a way this is your kitchen area is over here on this side. Your refrigerator is over on this side. And then there's your dining room area right here. So I'm kind of liking this design a lot better. You got a couch there and then you got two uh, uh, movie chairs. I call them movie chairs. We call them uh, movie theater type chairs with your cup holders and they're probably automatic reclining and so forth. We're going to actually sit in one of these and we may check this television set out. Um, usually all these control panels, I'm not sure if it's this one. We'll raise the TV, main ceiling, ceiling, blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Um, maybe this main panel right here that does everything. So I'll touch this panel and see what happens. Look at all this stuff. This is so much stuff. I don't want to uh, mess with it right now. But I could definitely figure it out. It looks like a... It look, oh, shoot. Framing is off here. Hang on. Sorry about that. So looking at the control panel, it looks like a whole lot of things that would are confusing to a lot of people. But... It's not. It's just kind of, in general, this is your main home button right here. It looks like your lighting, if you want to work with lighting. This is your battery. Um, this is your, uh, just, it's just like a smartphone, basically. So it's just getting used to your smartphone and figuring out what you're trying to do. Okay. Generator start. This is really nice. I don't know how to raise the TV yet, but the TV, you definitely could probably raise the TV and maybe watch TV. They may not even have it hooked up. I don't want to mess around with that. Let's see what this got over here. TV lift. Yeah, there's a bunch right there for the TV. Let's go ahead and see if that works real quick. So you guys just bear with me. TV lift. So you can see that this TV is lifting up. Okay. I'm very, very happy with this. Very, very impressed with this. This is pretty awesome. So you can lift your TV up and you can hide it when you don't want to use it. And you know, if you just want to look out the window and, you know, look at your scenery, you're parked somewhere at the beach or something, then you don't have to have the TV up, you know. And then you're sitting over here in your nice little recliner chair. Let me take this backpack off. So you guys just bear with me once again. And let me grab my phone. Of course, once again. Now this one doesn't have the fireplace, but that's okay. These are the recliner chairs that look pretty awesome. Which one do I want to sit in? I think I'm going to sit in this one right here. Give me more of a center view. So here I am sitting in my recliner chair and... I'm going to uh, put my tripod right here 
right. and just sit here and relax for a minute. Okay. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing good. I'm are you a, you work here? No. Oh, okay. You own this? Is this your, your RV? Your bus? <laughs> so I'm just sitting here once again, just enjoying myself. I'm in the RV. If I swing around here, you can see there is the TV that we just lifted up. I don't know if they have controls over here to lift it up, but here you go. I'm just sitting here, just relaxing. And how do you like it? This is the one I'm gonna get All right. one of these days. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> do you take this one? Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is nice. What's the price on this one? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> uh, me neither. As you can see, it's not listed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not, huh? So, oh, they got it. They got it right here. It's uh four hundred fifty nine thousand seven hundred twenty five dollars. <laughs> All right. So this is I'm sitting here in the reclining chair, getting ready to recline out. Let me back this up a little bit so you guys can get a, a full view of me and what's going on here. You know, I try to not keep everybody in the dark. So you got these nice captain chairs here. Really, really nice. Um, you got an electronic reclining capability. Look at this. It actually pulls out from the wall so it doesn't interfere with the wall. Wow, how far does this thing go? Okay, that's nice. Now, with something like this, you don't have to go anywhere. I mean, this could be your bed. If you wanna go to sleep right here, you can go to sleep in something like this. This is just very, very awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say. I can sit here and take a nap. Once again, your boy Tony Vicali. For the people that don't know who I am, Computer animation, three dimension holographic digital video broadcast, special effects engineer, slash senior audio visual telecommunication specialist, slash broadcaster, not broadcaster, broadcaster, not broadcaster, of my reality show, born in 1963, all in HD. HPTV stands for Helping People TV, Handicap Production, and many more productions coming your way. So, what am I doing? I'm sitting here in a Tiffin RV. Um, let's call it a coach. A Tiffin Coach RV Studio mobile studio mobile home on wheels just relaxing we're gonna go ahead and oh wow this goes down even lower, lower it went down a little lower just now oh so i can raise this up higher if i want to so i can raise this up and be like this just be kind of natural so there's two controls here one's for the foot i think one brings it in like that i can have it just kind of like that just kind of sitting up which is nice and I could just be, like I said, relaxing. We're gonna do a, a close-up picture of me here, close-up video here. And we'll go ahead and do two shots here. So that's a close-up shot, and then boom, here's the wide shot. Might go ahead and keep that shot there for a minute. Let's go ahead and add that. And y'all just bear with me for a minute. I'm doing my uh, production stuff here. Let's put it on follow. And we'll turn that on, okay. So now I got some following capability. It's gonna stay with me. And I'm just gonna just leave my, put my phone right here and the audio should pick up from my, from my phone. So once again, your boy Tony Scali and I can be hands-free and I can talk about some other things I, I wanna talk about. So I got my glasses right here, put my glasses on. Ah, just wanna relax a little bit. I'm just trying to get in a good position, I think for me, what feels good for me. Can extend out a little bit more, okay. And now I could actually do a full video from from this uh, chair. I could do my whole full video production. I'm sitting right here in this chair. Okay. Let's go all the way back down now. Let's see what we get. This is fun. I can sit this thing all day. Okay. So now, if I'm sitting here and I'm doing my full video production, I'm talking about. I have a show. I'm putting together my show. You guys could actually see what's going on, and we could kind of talk about different things, different products, whatever we want to talk about. Uh, if I was hosting, if I was doing a talk show, um, the other person could be sitting here in this chair right here. I could add a, 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 um, some talent to the show, bring some talent in. I could be hosting a show. I could set up a desk here. If I wanted to set up a, a desk here, a news desk, I could even put some green screen behind me and I could do my whole production right here. This would probably be a pretty awesome, to be honest with you. This would probably be all I need to, to do a full show. And if I decided to do a, a, a set of something else, I could probably push in the dining room set. I'm just looking in here as far as the, the, the room space. I could set up a green screen over there. I could set up a chair and I could do a full broadcast show sitting right here in my living room, my dining room, or probably any of the other uh, spaces in here as well. 
Looks like I do see a fireplace back there. We're going to go back there and take a walk in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and sit here and rest for a minute right now because, like I said, I'm enjoying myself. This is a very nice luxury coach. And like I said, the price on this particular coach, take off these glasses here. We're going to try to look at the specs. I wish I had a handout on the specs, but maybe I'll just take a picture of it. Um, maybe I'll take a picture of it later. Uh, once again, I told you this particular coach was $459,725. So once again, with that note, with that said, that telling you guys about the price and everything, don't hate, don't wait, don't procrastinate, donate. Do I need any? Do I need anything like this with this amount of luxury? Not necessarily, and that's what I want to talk about with all the people out there. Um, the reason I'm here for, for this uh, particular show is for information. Um, I've got a lot of information on RVs over the last couple of years. I've never physically got to see some of the the high end ones. Um, this is a pretty high end one right here. Uh, I actually was was hoping on seeing some of the. Uh, uh, I wanted to see a cornerstone unit um, in person, which I haven't seen yet. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on the cornerstone, the Elantra cornerstone, the Four Travel. Uh, I think by pre uh, <laughs> Prevost. I wanted to see some of the Prevost buses. I wanted to see some of the bigger units. And we're talking about million dollar coaches. And they said that's at the super super show, and that one you have to pay for. So, you know. Maybe I'll get a chance to see one of those, you know, in Las Vegas when I go back to Las Vegas or if I'm out here in Sacramento longer when they have the big super show. I think super shows in March and then it'll be multiple uh, dealerships. But this one is Happy Days RV, which I have no problem with. Happy Days RV, they've been good to me. I used to work for those guys back in the day. I used to work security back for those guys. And I'll keep it real. Back in the 80s, 90s, um, I, got, I got fired. I keep it real. I got fired working for them. Uh, I fell asleep on the job. I was a uh, security guard. I was supposed to be watching all the motor, motor homes back in the day. And we we're talking about the ones that were probably in the 90s. So, you know, I think it was like, it was like I think it was like eight, 1988. So the ones that were in the 80, were, were in the year of 1988, it was like the kind of pointed ones, you know. And uh, they were they were nice to me back then. And I've been wanting one of these even even since back then. Um, I did that focus on that. Was, my main, was that my main goal to get one at that time? No, it wasn't. But I liked them. And at the time I was younger... I was um I was like probably 25 almost 30 30 years old. No, no I was about 25 years old, I remember. And um I was just learning life, you know. So I was working security, I fell asleep, and next thing you know the boss come in, he came in in the morning and said, "You're fired." I fell asleep right there in the office. So, keeping it real. But that was the that was the good old days at Happy Days RV. And uh I can't blame them because you know, hey, I, they were paying me to do a job and I didn't do the job like I should have done the job and back then you know what's really funny back then uh, I was working for the company uh, private security I didn't work through a different agency or something so it didn't really affect my um, my company or anything like that I was working for because I was working privately but at the same time I learned a lot you know working so how you like how you like my RV how you like it it's, it's beautiful ain't it this thing is beautiful I'm just doing my little my little blog video here. Right on. <laughs> so once again, this is it. A lot of people are looking at this coach, four hundred fifty nine thousand dollars. Did I say that right? I think I let me double check the price again. Four fifty nine, seven hundred twenty five dollars. So yeah, four hundred fifty nine thousand. And that's what I want to talk about. So if you start to look at RVs, you know a lot of people are coming to the show. They might have an RV, an existing RV. They might want something. They want to upgrade to something, or they just want to look at something that's look at the new technology. Is this a 2020? I'm not sure. Is it a 20 2019? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not going to go into details, uh, but I will step up here and I'll look at this flyer a little bit more and try to get a little more information for you. But I'm not going into every detail. And this is what I tell people: if you're interested in anything out there, whether it's a 2020, a 2017, 2014, 2013, whatever it is, even if it's a 1999, they have some nice RVs that are 1999. And the affordable fact about these RVs is that people don't understand that you can get an RV for as low as maybe $15,000 and even lower than that. So it just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something back in the 80s, you know, I've seen RVs go for, you know, let me say, maybe about $5,000, you know, somewhere around there. I've seen RVs, 2000 3000 It just depends on what you're looking for. You want something you're going to work on, you're going to fix, fix it up. It's a project RV. You can get RVs pretty cheap. Um, it was even one one time I remember looking on on the internet. Um, 
people give them away. People donate them, you know. And that's why I'm here. I'm like, hey, you guys know what I want. It doesn't have to be something of this luxury of this this magnitude. Um, I'm an electronic technician by trade. Let me just tell you guys that. I didn't get a degree in electronics or anything, but um, I did go to school for electronics back in the day. I had two years of high school electronics, and I had two years, uh, a year and a half at uh, DeVry Institute of Technology. And I learned a lot. Uh, I don't have a degree in electronics or anything like that, but I know how to do certain things. I know how to build. I know how to create. And uh, if I were to get an a RV, say, from the 90s, I don't think I want to go back into the 80s, but say I got an a RV, RV in the 90s, say a 1999 RV, okay? And I wanted to customize it, and I wanted to add some electronic panels and uh, flip up TV and all that kind of stuff. I could actually do that. That's, that's what I'm going to say. I have the creativity to do that. Um, it takes money, of course, but it also takes time. And I may not have something that's as nice as this. Maybe not Corian countertops. Maybe it's a different type of countertop. Maybe it's a, 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 a cheaper countertop. This is really nice, actually. Never actually really felt these. Um, and it's got under lighting. It's got under lighting underneath the uh, countertop as well. I'm looking at that LED lighting. I, I know how to do that. I know how to add LED lighting. I know how to add lights. I know how to do that kind of stuff. People that know me, you guys already know what I do. And for the people that don't know what I do, and you just turn turning in for the first time, what do I do? Computer animation, three-dimensional holographic digital video broadcast, special effects engineer, slash senior audio visual telecommunication specialist, slash broadcaster, not broadcaster, broadcaster, not broadcaster, broadcaster, not broadcaster, of my reality show, born in 1963, all in HD, HPTV stands for Helping People TV, Handicap Production, Homeless Production, and many more productions coming your way. So that just tells you right there, I do a lot of different things. So if I were to go back in time and I say I want to get a, a 1995 RV, or someone donated an RV to me, which I'll put that out there. I could do something of this of this magnitude, of this scale. Come on in. Come on in, I'm sir. Good, Come on in. Take a tour. I'm good. All right. And so that's where I'm at right now. I'm at a level right now of just looking, browsing. I tell people to do this all the time. You know, I do a lot of this on the Internet. I, I come out here and I learn about a lot of the RV, RV, RVs. I got to learn a little bit more about the how to set, how to connect the, the the cables and things out there you got your sewage tanks out there your black tank and your uh what do they call it black tank and your gray tank or your gray tank and your black your black holes and your all these different things you, you got to study it you got to look at the stuff you got to learn about it your aqua fresh hot water heater your generator your inverters all those things i watch a lot of videos on that stuff and i'm pretty familiar with it so it's a matter of just stepping into one of these now Stepping into it, physically stepping into it. That's what I'm doing today. I'm physically stepping into something like this and, and looking at it for the first time and going, wow, this is really nice. I've looked at some older units. I've looked at some units, um, I think 2004. Um, on Boulder Highway, we have a bunch of RV uh, dealerships out there. And some of those, uh, I think we actually have more RVs out there. I'm not sure, but I think we have more RVs in Las Vegas. I could be wrong. Um, but... I go to Boulder Highway and I look at some of these units and I, I've i been in a couple of them and they're all very nice units. And it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time before I get one. I already know. I feel it in my spirit. I feel like I'm going to get one of these. And it's not going to just be for me. It's going to be for people I can help. You know, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to help other people. And, uh, you know, I can't put everybody in my RV, but it's going to be for people that are, are trying to do something with their with their life. I might have a friend or a buddy or something, and he might need a place to stay. I can pop out one of these couches, and I can do that, and I can help someone out, and I can travel, and I have my own home on wheels. You know, so it's, it's a form of stability. It's a form of uh, everybody needs a place, you know. So many people out there right now in the world, um, homeless, don't have a place, and I see people struggling and doing everything they can to survive, and something like this is, would be really nice, you know. I wish I had the ability to to provide not something you know need something this uh with with this much luxury, but just for a person to have something even the smaller units that we're gonna look at in a little bit we're gonna look at probably a fifth wheel or we'll look at a trailer you can come on in come on in man come on in yeah i'm I'm editing all this how you doing today Real good. what'd you think about this oh that's beauty ain't this nice yeah four hundred and fifty nine thousand for this one yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is um, this is what we do. So once again, you don't have to have uh, this amount of luxury. Just you know, having a place to stay, I think, is one of the big things, right? People are looking for it right now, and I just want to kind of give you guys just a basic tour of, of what's possible. Once again, we got the 
uh, uh, what do they call that? The televator, the televator TV. You you know the TV comes up out of the uh, out of the out of the back there. Did you, have you seen that? Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. that's called a te- oh. televator. All right. So you hit a hit a control over there. The television goes up. goes up and down. The other one it was the one the one I think up front of me. Um, it has a fireplace in it. Yeah. So yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now you have you have an RV? Yes. What what kind do you have? I've got the that that, that Toro, that, the Chateau. I got a lot. There. The one over here? Yeah. Chateau? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna look at that. Yeah. How long you had it? I've had a couple of years. You like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I was just looking at something. Else. Man, I want one of these real bad. I want one of these real bad, man. Huh? <laughs> I am. It's coming. It's coming. There I got. I'm, I'm go. talking to my people right now. We're working on the finances. There you go. Take care. <laughs> All right, you too. So, like I said, hey, if you want an RV coming down here, the show is going to be from the 20th to the 23rd of um, of this month, which is February 20th to the 23rd. If you're out here in Sacramento, come down, check out the RV show. It's free. I tell a lot of people when you have something, you know, they say nothing's free as well. This is free. It takes money to get here. Yeah, it takes gas, whatever. My sister, she dropped me off. My sister drives for Lyft. Okay, so I got a free Lyft driver. That was great. <coughs> and she dropped me off. And here I am. Come on in, man. I thought you were videoing. Um, I, I am. Yeah. I am, but I can edit any of this anytime. Oh, really? Come down. Hey, Neil. This is my main man, Neil. Neil. <laughs> I'm Tony. So this is. Let me uh, frame this up here. See, <laughs> see how I'm doing that? Yeah. So we're on the show right now. I got Neil here, and I got, and I'm here, and we just enjoying ourselves. Neil, tell me a little bit about this RV. You work here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you're looking at the number one selling diesel uh, in the marketplace. Okay. It's a family-owned business. It's not a corporation. They don't have shareholders. They manufacture everything. When they build this coach, they get all the wood together. They stain it. They make your cabinets. Ten years down the road, if you broke a cabinet, you call them up. They know by VIN number the color, the wood, and the hardware, and we'll build you another one. Really? Including the front caps, the rear caps, and every door on this coach. Okay. So, ten, ten years from now. Yeah, they got over a million square feet on the roof. Wow! 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 It's it's, it's a family company. They, okay. I mean, you're not just a, a number. We're talking about Happy Days RV. No, we're talking about Tiffin. We're talking about Tiffin. Okay. We're in a Tiffin. Tiffin Allegro. 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 Oh. Okay. Okay. You have several. You got the open road, which is gas. Okay. Then you go with the red, which is the diesel. Okay. And then you go to the Phaeton, which is a diesel. Okay. And then we're in a bus. Okay. Okay, which is a Power Glide chassis. Yeah. Okay. So what do you have? So, a, a blog? Yeah, this is for my YouTube. I got YouTube uh, friends and stuff, family, friends and family, mm-hmm. uh, all around the world. I live in Vegas. Okay. I've been looking at the RVs for last two or three years um, very seriously. Um, I'm at that age right now, 57 years old. But how I look, I, I may not look that. Okay, 50, 50. I'll be 50. Well, I'll be 50, 64. I'll be 57. Okay, well, you, 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 you're looking good, man. You're looking good. And I've been watching all the YouTube videos right. on Tiffin and Allegra, Cornerstone. I wanted to see some Cornerstones. You guys don't carry those, though. I wanted to see some of those. I wanted to see some Prevos. Mm-hmm. Okay. And to me, this is I was talking to my viewers out there. Um, all these, uh, all these coaches are very similar. Uh, you start to step into different price ranges, and I think that's I, this is the price range that I would I would feel comfortable. I don't need to be into a million dollar coach. I don't need to be in a two or two million dollar coach or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, as far as what we call mass produce, they build eleven a day. Okay. Okay. As far as mass produce, they build eleven a day. Mm-hmm. Wow. They have a million square feet under roof. That's pretty. That's a lot. And I was looking at some of the previous videos, like some of the other coaches. I know, like, well, Prevost and those guys, they'd be like eleven a year. Well, or or more, but because they're spending, you got, you got to remember, they're the spending shell, more time, right? The shell is is one point two million. Then the minimum build out is five hundred thousand. Oh. I took one of those in trade on one of these on the bus. Oh, you did. And I asked him why. He says it's too complicated. They're all one offs. He says, I just we just want to turn the key and go. <laughs> That's a true story. Right, right, <laughs> he had right. A building in Texas, he had built for it, air conditioning, he did and everything. And huh? Yeah, he just too expensive, huh? Well, it, it's too expensive. No wiring diagram. I mean, it, it was. It, he it was says, too complicated. I, too complicated. Too complicated. Because I, I was watching a video the other day, and they said something about they build like eleven a year, and he's telling me they build like eleven a day on these. And I, I, I like that concept because it seems like it's more. Um, 
uh, consistent. Yeah, yeah. And that's you know the fit, the finish. You can always buy a new RV, but what you're driving five years down the road is what you actually paid for. Uh -huh. You'd be shocked at how some of these don't hold up. And I'm I'm talking not cheap coaches. Okay. You know that's why the Tiffin, the best salespeople for Tiffin are Tiffin owners. You know, and and go to a Tiffin rally. I mean, okay. You go to a rally uh, for Tiffin, you could have six hundred to six thousand RVs. We had one in Georgia. Um, they show up with two service teams, Dang. two trailers worth it. You got a little fix it or something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You go on a list. They come right out to your campsite huh? and fix it. They do. Yes. Absolutely. And Bob Tiffin shows up at the rallies. The owner. Oh, yes. See all those heat vents there by the front door? Yeah, yeah. Okay, his wife had cold feet. Okay, she was always cold feet, so they always have extra heat. And there. so he did that improvement for oh, his oh, wife. Oh, 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 wouldn't you? Okay, <laughs> that, that's what I want to talk about. See, I'm an inventor. Okay. I'm an inventor. And I was, from an inventing standpoint, I always tell people that most inventions came from people that or even they're in that environment, that industry, and they wanted to improve on something. Yeah. They decided they wanted to improve on this. Guy, he makes a mop and he makes it better. This guy make. I, I work out in Vegas. I'm an audiovisual technician. Okay. And a guy, we used to tape down all these cords, and we said, and then one guy said he got. We get on our knees and we tape it on these cords. And one guy said, you know what? I'm okay. He came up with a roller system, and he's got like a a roller thing. Mm -hmm. Guy made millions on this because he wanted to improve. It's, it's just like you said. It's like the bazooka for drywall. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So this particular coach, this is one of your high-end coaches, mm -hmm. the top of the line, you'd say? Yeah. Okay. And can you tell me, uh, does this one have, um, as far as like the controlling the TV or the uh, uh, the shades, can you do that from an iPad on this particular one? Yes. You can? Yes. Or a smartphone or something? Yep. Okay. That's one of the things I've seen uh, on a lot of the videos and a lot of the coaches. And um, tell me a little bit about what you like about this. This particular coach the customers love it i mean yeah you know i, I, we, 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 I walked in i was like for, yeah well, i know but listen you know being in sales you can always sell somebody something mm -hmm. but a if you don't believe in it that's it's a bunch of crap okay you're not being truthful to yourself or your customer yeah b is you want them to be happy it doesn't matter if it's the gas coach, uh -huh. okay? This is diesel, right? Oh, this is diesel. Okay. But if it's a gas coach for a third disc price, or if it's a diesel, whatever mm -hmm. their pocketbook will fit. But you want them to be happy. And you know what? People that buy the tipping products are happy. I don't get complaints. You guys got any giveaways or anything? A raffle? Yeah, Maybe. this this coach. Huh? This coach. Is what? I'm going to raffle it. When? Now. <laughs> How many people online? Huh? <laughs> I gotta go, brother. All right, man, you're gonna get in trouble, man. I'm gonna say. I used to work for you guys back in the day. I just yeah. talked about that. Yeah, I was security at the at the uh, uh, your RV's uh, shop over there. I mean, on uh, El Camino. Oh, it's a Happy RV. I it was it was back in the '90s. I can't even remember okay. anybody. I got fired. I fell asleep. Oh. I fell asleep in the office. That's <laughs> tough, not to crack. All right, man. Nice meeting you. All right. All right. So you see how easily that we just did this video. I could have been hosting the show. Like I said, my man Kenny over here was sitting here. He just came in there, gave us a little information about the coaches. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. We're going to probably sign off. I've been talking for a while. We're going to probably sign off. Um, want to walk around a little bit more. You know what? Let's walk back here real quick and take a look at the uh, back end of this coach. Like I said, this is one of their top end, uh, uh, top of the line coaches. And uh, that's what we call these now. These are coaches. These are not RVs. Just coaches, so you can call them RV. Look at that, look at that, look at that control panel there. A lot of stuff in there. Bedroom, fireplace in the bedroom, okay? Fireplace in the bedroom, and they have the uh, televator TV, as you can see too. I can see the cutout here, so I know that there is a television set there also. And to, to operate it, you look like you got two panels on each side, okay? I, like I said, I don't even know anything about this coach, but I just from watching a lot of the videos, I'm learning that. Oh, man, I want to show you this. I don't know how to show you this, though. Okay, let me just put the camera here. Okay, y'all just bear with me for a minute. Because, wow. Just bear with me. I'm going to get up here on the bed. Okay. Probably shouldn't do this. I'm going to get up here. Wow. <laughs> this bed actually comes out, too. I, I, don't, I don't know if I can show that. There's a, there's a touch screen here. So I'm going to activate the touch screen. Okay, it says ceiling. 
Uh, you also have a ceiling fan. Front reading, blah, 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 door, bath, let's see. Master lights, bed lift. Ooh. Ooh. So you see I made the bed, I'm gonna take the bed back up. Kind of noisy though. Okay, so that was the bed, pushing the bed out, the TV left. They got the, oh there it is, hang on. Oh, you hit it one time. So the TV's actually, actually lifting up right now. We'll go ahead and show that. Okay, and there's a TV. The TV's lifting up. It's got an LG TV with JBL, JBL sound bar. Really nice. And um, yeah, that was cool. And we'll go ahead and we'll lower it. Got to just bear with my cinematography here for a minute. <laughs> Dang, I got the thing too high. <sighs> Try to show you guys everything. So once again, that's the control panel over there. And there's also a control, an adjacent control panel over here by me. So here's the control panel. You notice when I touch it, it'll light up, okay? When I touch it, the control panel lights up. So his and her, you know, you could, the, you have your husband, your spouse, whatever, could be on that side and they want to lift the TV up and watch TV, they can do it, or you can lift the TV up. You don't have to reach over the person. Now I'm gonna lift, I'll bring the TV down. Hit it one time. Oh, oh I guess you gotta hold it. Huh. Okay, so the TV is now going down as you can see. Okay. You got a fireplace on the bottom. Don't ask me how that works. I believe that that's probably uh I could definitely figure it out over here if I look at these these controls for a while. But that may work off your hot water system. It may work off a of gas. I'm not sure how that works. It's definitely a heater, maybe electronic heater, and you have your fireplace there. That's pretty cool. Okay. So walking back here in the rest of the uh, area back here, you got his and her sinks. Wow, these things are nice. Really nice looking sinks here. Okay. We got his and her sinks. Here I am in the mirror here. You got double mirrors there. His and her sink. Okay. Um, dang, this is really nice. You've got a mirror closet right there in your restroom. There's your toilet. Opening up this door right here. Oh, slides. Oh, wow. Slide in the door here. Here's your washer and dryer. Um, you have a stackable washer and dryer, which is nice. Some units you have just the washer that actually turns into the dryer. Um, a lot of technology can be put in these. You can. It depends on what you want to do. And like I said, for starter RVs, you can, you can do your own thing. You know, this is really nice. This is the bathroom. So I'm actually in the bathroom here. I'm in the bathroom here of the Tiffin. This is nice. Look at the shower. This is the shower. I'm open this up. I don't want to break it. Oh, okay. I guess it would help. It would help if I turn the latch. Turn the latch. I'm gonna sit in here. See if I can fit in here. So I'm a full size man here. I'm pretty heavy here. I weigh about uh on tripod. I actually weigh about 270 pounds. I'm a heavy guy. We're gonna put my camera on tripod here. You guys bear with this. Might have to do some editing. But I'm sitting in the shower. This is the bench here. Make sure it will support me. And bam. Here I am. Never took a video like this before. So I'm actually in the shower. It fits me pretty good. Nice uh, shower head up here. Very nice little thing here. I'm turning on. You funny water came out of there. Okay, so I'm sitting in the shower of the Tiffin. Uh, this is nice. A nice grab handle to pull yourself up for a heavy guy like me. You got a real heavy person. My mom, she's a heavy set lady. She would need something like this. This would be perfect. She come in here, she could take a shower. And then she could pull herself up, you know, because she has a hard time getting up sometimes. So she could just grab on the hair and bam, I could pull myself up too as well. Okay. So I'm standing in the shower, full size shower. I'm five nine. My hat is taking me up to about six feet. And then this is definitely about nine feet, maybe seven, eight, nine feet tall. You've got a skylight over here so you can actually see out. I don't know if the thing lifts up, if it opens up or anything. I don't think that one opens up. But I'm in the shower. This is pretty awesome. Okay, we'll come out of the shower. Nice little latch here. And depending on, like I said, the, the amount of luxury that you want in an RV, you can uh, you could have it, I'm gonna fix the bed here. 
I made it, made it a little messy here. Getting on the bed. I don't think you're supposed to get on the bed, but I had to do that to check it all out. I think that pillow was back there. I don't know. This is nice though. I ain't gonna mess this bed up. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna get out of this RV. We're gonna sign off. I don't probably don't have that much battery power. So we're gonna definitely get on out of here. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys uh, an idea of what it is to be in an RV like this. Um, let me show you this kitchen area one more time here. We'll look at that. You guys bear with the shakiness of my video. Just bear with everything here. Okay, so I'm over, sitting over here at the countertop. You can see I have a lot of space in here. A lot of room. Um, Korean countertop. Removable Korean countertop. So you can actually look down here in the sink. Man, I feel like I'm giving you guys a tour of this. You know? Man, this is really nice. Stainless steel. Korean countertop. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show that real quick. I usually don't show all this stuff right here. I think I should be working for the dealership. Maybe I'll end up working for these guys. That'd be great. I wouldn't mind selling these. I could be a salesman. You know? So, that's what the sinks look like. I'm going to go ahead and put these back here. Because what I'm doing, I'm basically practicing. I know I'm going to get one of these RVs pretty soon, so I have to learn how to use it. How are you doing today, sir? All right. It's really nice back in place and then over here you probably have a oh this is nice wow this is the uh induction stove top we're going to show that real quick we got an induction stove top i actually have one of these i actually bought one of these on offer up believe it or not not too long ago for like a uh, 20 bucks this is a real nice one it's a double induction stove top made by true induction true induction and uh, if I'm not mistaken, some of these they can actually are removable. I've seen they're removable where they can where you can put them outside. Is that, is that right? You work here? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Some of these are actually removable. I'm not sure if this one is removable or not. Some of them you can actually grab from the side and remove. I'm not going to try to remove it, but some of them you can take out so that if you're camping outside and you can actually set the induction up outside as well. This is really nice. This is actually a waste uh, trash can. <laughs> so you have a trash can here, which is nice. Like I said, lockable storage. All these things right here. Nice little pantry. You put all your stuff in here. Could be pots and pans. I never thought this stuff was really interesting to me. I started watching a lot of YouTube videos. And, um, dang, that's a lot of storage. Wow. That's a lot of storage right there. Put a lot of pots in there and it seems all lock in really nicely what the heck i don't know what this is it's got like a i guess you can put like forks and stuff in there too i don't know what that is i don't really don't know what that's for it's nice though um you also have this right here this is something that that your remote control for the tv here is inside there you want to celebrate you got a bottle of champagne you guys see me over there? Uh, let me adjust this a little bit. Sorry about that. And we'll get my audio up here. You guys can hear me a little bit better. So over here, you got some champagne. Boom. You want to celebrate? Party. It could be apple cider or, or something you can put in there too. Somebody broke a glass in this one. Got a broken glass in there. We ain't going to pull that out. I ain't trying to get cut. But like I said, lots of storage. Wow. What the heck? Okay, so this is like a pantry area right here. So if you wanted to... Um, Move it sideways a little bit here. Let's go ahead and do a that angle right there should be pretty good. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me on that. Okay. Okay. So looking at this particular thing, you got your pantry, like a pantry drawer here that you can slide out and you can put all your ingredients and things like that inside here, which is kind of cool. Convection microwave oven, which is nice. Convection microwave, really nice. And once again, this is a really nice. This is this uh, uh, induction top. Everybody's going with that now. With the induction top, let me explain what the induction tops are. Instead of having a gas burner or an electric burner like you used to have back in the days, with the induction burners, um, you can put your hands on the grill. You can turn this thing up to 1500 degrees and your hands won't even burn. If you put a pot on there, the pot, the water is going to start boiling immediately. 
if you put some paper between the pot, the paper won't burn because it's induction. It works off of magnetic, a magnetic induction. That's what the induction is. So it's a magnetic field that's created and it's like uh, wireless charging. When you have your uh, wireless charging for your phones and things like that. So you guys bear with me for a minute on this. I'm gonna give you guys a different camera angle here. Okay. You can kind of see the induction oven a little bit better, hopefully. And once again, this is your induction grill. So if I put my hand on the grill here, my hand would definitely not burn up, which is awesome. Put my hand over here, my hand's not gonna burn up. And it's all digital, it's control over here. So you would set the controls according to your pots and whatever you're trying to cook. So just kind of wanted to kind of show that real quick. And once again, I'm your boy Tony Cali. What am I doing? Sitting here inside of a luxury, a very luxurious RV. This is really nice. These are your captain chairs right here. They call these the captain chairs. And they actually have a uh, area where they will swivel around. And I don't know how to do that right now. <laughs> but they do swivel around. And there's some controls on the side that will probably allow me to do that. Got automatic reclining capability here. Heating and cooling. This is backward and forward. And I know they swivel around somehow too. Some of these times these chairs swivel around. But I think we're going to sit up here. We're going to sit up here and take a look at the cockpit. So once again, your boy Tony McCallie. This is the Tiffin unit here. Uh, all the things that you want to know about this unit, you could easily learn. Tiffin Motorhomes, production, blah, blah, blah. This is a 40 foot um, coach, okay? So for people that want to know really actually more, I'm sorry, you guys can't see me there. Sorry about that. And we're going to phone it. Phone's way over here. You want to have to definitely do some editing. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that, folks. I think the lighting is better from that angle. Okay. All right. Let's take off some of these uh, multiple cameras and stuff. We're going to take off some of these camera shots here. We might have to do some editing on this. All right. All right. Let's take off the automatic stuff here. Always trying to be a perfectionist. This is what I do, folks. Always trying to be a perfectionist. All right. That should be good. I'm going to look big on here. Okay? Got to lose some weight. So once again, looking at the coach specs here, um, we are looking at a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to go through everything on here. This is a huge list. This is a 2020, by the way. So this is a 2020 uh, Allegro Tiffin Coach or Allegro Bus. They call it an Allegro bus, and it has a lot of things in, in, this, in this coach. We're not going to go through all the stuff. Wine guard, connect. That's basically if you, uh, you, you, you want your own, um, uh, like, satellite. You get satellite. You got three solar panels on top. Um, this thing is really, really packed with a lot of stuff. Um, so, once again, we're not going to go through all this, this stuff, but $459,725. And you guys kind of seen some of the... Uh, the luxuries that this coach offers. I'm your boy Tony Vicali, and what am I what am I here to do? I'm here to kind of educate, to kind of show you guys what's possible, what you could actually have if you're interested in something like this in the near future, because this is pretty awesome. This is very, very awesome. Your couch also uh, turns into a bed, I'm pretty sure. The couch turns into a bed, so you can sleep probably, I don't know, six, eight to eight people, depending on how many people you want in your coach. Uh, this thing is loaded. We're gonna look at looking at the cockpit here. This cockpit, this front end of this coach, you're looking at two 10-inch screens, I believe. If this is this is yeah, this is the one I looked at on YouTube. It's got two 10-inch screens. You got a digital display right here between the steering wheel. You can see, and then all your controls over there. Probably your Atlas and transmission. Um, the uh, diesel engine. I'm not sure the size of the engine. I think it's a 450 Cummins, but we can double check that real quick. Um, here's all your specs. We'll just go ahead and show that on We'll put the specs list right there. If you guys are interested, you guys can pause this at any time and look at the features from this video, or maybe I'll post them later. But, um, 
I think I said, thought I saw you didn't say a 450 Cummings engine. This is a 2020 model. Um, it's a 40 foot unit and you can get it at Happy Days. You guys want to talk to the salesperson? It looks like his name is Brian uh, Grandlude. Brian Grandlude. Check with him and you can get uh, you can get the information at Happy Days RV and he can give you more information about it. Okay. So once again, I'm very, very excited about this product. I mean, about this bus, about this coach that I'm in. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm your boy, Tony from Cali. For the people who are just tuning in, um, you guys know what I do. Once again, HPTV, Helping People TV. And hopefully I'm helping some people out there with this. Mevo uh, is critical low on battery power. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. I do want to show you once again, that is the coach. Um, critical low on battery power. We're going to probably have to sign off here. And hopefully you guys got some insight of RV shopping today. And you can kind of get an idea of what we do. Signing off once again, your boy Tony Kelly, HPTV. Peace, love. Don't hate. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Donate. And we out.